we do need to talk about this whole overturning Roe v. Wade thing. Because going back almost five decades in human rights, progress is kind of a big deal. Or according to some big-brained experts, it's totally not, actually. Do you think that the states should have the right to be able to determine abortion laws? Because um, you'll still, it won't change the laws in like, yeah, that's all Roe v. Wade overturning means that Colorado, you know, can have abortion, like they have all the way up until nine months. Yeah. And Texas can have a heartbeat bill. Yeah. So again, it's going to be let a thousand flowers bloom. It's going to be each state gets to decide on its own specific abortion protocols, which is precisely what the Constitution suggested at the time. Most abortions now, even when you go to a clinic, are done with the pill. Yeah. Right. The pill. And pills are easy to get in America. We know that. So, you know, for the people who say we're going back to 1973, we're not. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, womb havers. It's no big deal after all. All of you folks upset about this news are just on your periods, you see. It's just that some states can choose not to allow abortions. What about their choice, huh? And like Bill Maher said, you can just get a pill now. How hard is it to get an extremely hard to get pill that the GOP is specifically restricting in their states and is very hard to get because of that? So just get that really hard to get pill. It's easy. Video over, I guess. MBD. Roll those credits. Roll them. Come on. Oh, wait, sorry. Maybe Steven Crowder and Ben Shapiro and Bill Maher aren't the Roe v. Wade experts we all universally accept them to be. And perhaps I need to look into this a tad further. Because once Roe v. Wade is overturned, millions of people will suddenly lose access to abortion in their states. And that seems bad. In fact, 13 states have trigger laws, as in various bans on abortion access, that will go into effect once the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, which could be really darn soon. It could be the day we're filming this. A lot of clinics are already preparing by ceasing all appointments after this month, because overall it's predicted that at least 26 states would ultimately ban abortion once Roe is overturned. As of May 5th, 86 bills have been introduced in 31 states to restrict or ban an abortion, and eight states have enacted abortion bans, with two blocked in lower courts. But heck, I guess you're just supposed to go to a state where it's legal, which is, in many cases, what does happen. After the Texas ban went into effect, Planned Parenthood in neighboring states saw an 800% increase in abortion patients, and a 2,500% increase specifically in Texan patients. So, problem... Totally solved! Of course, going to a neighboring state only works if you can even afford to do it, which many people can't. Accessing abortion from Texas now requires people to travel over 250 miles on average, which, by the way, will become a much greater distance when Roe v. Wade is destroyed, as you'll have whole clusters of states banning abortion. So you either need money for a plane ticket, a car, gas for that car, which, by the way... Yeah, lodging and savings to cover your lost wages. Currently in Texas, the strict timing requirements for people to obtain abortions may cost some people their jobs since workers' rights are about as piss poor as reproductive rights. For those who live in poverty, who in 2014 accounted for half of everyone seeking abortions, this may be impossible or lead to being even deeper in poverty. But sure, you know, not a big deal, says Bill Maher, TV show host. So it's ban on abortions for the poor for now because even if you have the money to go through the ordeal of traveling to get an abortion anti-abortion states are looking into making that illegal as well lawmakers in missouri are trying to pass a bill that would in similar fashion to the texas heartbeat law allow individuals to sue anyone helping patients cross state lines for an abortion other bills being introduced include one that would simply make it illegal for people to obtain abortions out of state if any part of the abortion counseling occurred within Missouri, or if payment occurs from within Missouri, or if someone lives within Missouri, or, quote, the conduct of a person or entity creates a substantial connection with this state. Whatever that means. If you're in a Missouri state of mind, I suppose. It would even ban obtaining an abortion outside of Missouri if sexual intercourse occurred within this state and the child may have been conceived by that act of intercourse. Although they don't say whether it counts if you're having sex right on the border and the sperm kind of shoots over into the vagina in another state. Is that allowed? Or would this count as, as sperm trafficking, spooge laundering, cum smuggling? 
Nice, I like that. Also, Batter Baron. You know, baby juice bootlegging. The old knob slurry moonshine. A hot milk pirate, if you will. I have so many of these. Anyway, so they want to ban abortions and then ban leaving to get an abortion. Spunk sneakers! All right, that was pretty good. Okay, moving on. Seems like they're trying to trap women, like prisoners, is my point before I got distracted by the jizz jokes. And boy, they aren't stopping there. Shortly after the Supreme Court decision leaked, Idaho senior lawmaker Brent Crane wanted to hold a hearing over banning emergency contraception, and a failed Louisiana bill tried to criminalize IUDs by expanding the definition of abortion and would have defined abortion as homicide. According to Paul Weiland, the Republican state senator who led the Missouri effort to stop Medicaid from covering contraceptives like IUDs and Plan B, quote, the bottom line is there is only one one time something definitively happens, and that's the moment of conception. Once that happens, anything that happens should not be state-funded. So, basically, as soon as the sperm bonks into the egg, you're literally and figuratively f***ed. Also, claiming that there is only one time something definitively happens is... Is this like weird and wrong? There are many, many, many different stages of reproduction. I could declare that I believe life begins when the sperm gets peed out of the balls. I can just say that, and I do frequently on public transport, but it doesn't make my opinion the definitive fact. But even though this Missouri effort failed, the repealing of Roe v. Wade would likely encourage further efforts to reduce access to and illegalize contraceptives. So the argument that we shouldn't worry, that it'll, it'll still be legal in some states, or that since most of the country supports abortion, then it'll be protected, is completely dishonest, and frankly, cowardly, and can be summed up with this exchange. And we know that most Americans, including conservatives, do not believe that. They're not on that page. Uh, well, they, most they, they voted it in, in Texas, not that long ago. Right. Acting like this will blow over really seems to ignore the fact that conservative lawmakers are already passing these laws despite what the majority wants, because their end goal is to ban abortions everywhere, and always has been. After all, people like Crowder pretending this is no big deal are the same people who think abortion is murder. So what exactly do you think their end game is? This isn't some kind of polite display of restraint like someone daintily eating a few chips at a wedding. They aim to shove the entire nacho spread in their maws, no matter how much it embarrasses my parents. My fault for nacho wedding, I guess. But maybe the reason Crowder and other pregnancy crusaders are being so adorably coy is that they know, as I've already pointed out, that the right to an abortion is wildly popular. 61% of Americans believe abortion should be legal in all or most cases, while only 37% believe it should be illegal in all or most cases. That said, it's a highly polarized issue, with about 80% of Democrats saying abortion should be legal in all or most cases, and only about 40% of Republicans believing it should be legal in all or most cases. Still, 40% of Republican-leaning people is a healthy chunk of the party. So maybe that's why they're so focused on the technicality of Roe v. Wade not banning abortion, even though it will directly result in it being banned in many states. Hey, thanks for watching that clip. Here's the evergreen end plate to ask you to like and subscribe. It's any day of the year where you are.